This is a demonstration of Remote Buddy's Ajax Remote for the Mac. I begin by selecting the Ajax Remote bookmark on my home screen. Then I select Remote Module and switch from Button to Gesture Mode. On first use, an overview of the available gestures is shown. I dismiss with a tap. Next, I open Remote Buddy's menu and use Gestures to navigate. You can now see a mapping overview. It provides a compact overview of the actions associated with your buttons when controlling a particular application. OK, so let's activate the behavior and control iTunes. Short and long touches are the equivalent of short and long button presses. The direction of a touch determines whether it is interpreted as left, right, up, down or play button press. A tap starts playback. Dragging upwards increases volume. Dragging downwards decreases volume. Flipping right skips to the next track. One place gestures feel even more natural is iTunes full screen cover flow mode. Flicking through the covers is a great way to access my current playlist. I can even skip individual tracks. I quit the full screen cover flow mode like I entered it with a long touch. Using the exit button, I quit iTunes. You can use Ajax Remote to control the more than 100 Mac applications supported by Remote Buddy, including Front Row, DVD Player, iTV, VLC, Plex, iPhoto, Preview, Acrobat, PowerPoint, Keynote, and so on. Remote Buddy's Ajax Remote also provides you with great tools for your presentation. Here's a short demo. I open Remote Buddy's menu and navigate to Keynote's context menu. There, I have access to presentations I recently worked on. I open the demo presentation. I start playback and change to the next slide. Now that I'm starting with the actual presentation, I switch over to the presenter trackpad. There, I activate MouseBot to highlight a part of my presentation and reposition the mouse directly on the live view of my screen. If you use multiple displays, you can also switch the live view to another display of your choice. Slide control is exercised with the embedded left and right remote control buttons. The ITV module provides direct access to a list of recordings and TV stations. The previously demoed remote control Provides playback control like fast forward, rewind, volume control, play pause, full screen toggling, and on screen menu access. The movies module provides direct access to Remote Buddy's built in Video TS launcher. Once a Video TS folder has been opened in DVD player or VLC media player, you can control menu and playback using the remote module. The music module provides in-depth control of iTunes. It shows the currently playing track, provides playback control, allows changing the playback position, volume, song rating, speakers, system audio output, playlist editing, and local library search. In addition, it also supports streaming of iPhone iPod Touch compatible media files from your iTunes library. The camera module provides a live picture from your system's primary webcam and can save pictures on request. 
In the past five minutes, you've seen how Remote Buddy and its web-based Ajax remote can turn the iPhone and iPod Touch into a great remote control for your Mac. But that's really just one remote control supported by it. Remote Buddy also offers support for many other remotes, like the Apple Remote, the V Remote, and many remotes that come bundled with ITV receivers. For more information and a free demo download, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.